YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday morning. About, uh... Damn, I just looked at the damn time, too. 8.15 a.m. We are here in Blandon, PA. So he's picking up a blower system from... Excelsior Blowing Systems. Already checked in, just waiting for them to uh, finish crating it up and all that good stuff. Then they said they're going to bring it out of forklift and place it on the trailer. So, I don't know, the, the, uh, the dimensions on these load sheets ain't never right. Because they said it was 48 by 8 by 6. It's like, yeah, it's one little crate. It's 13,000 pounds. Hey, I ain't complaining. I can use some light loads. I've been hauling heavy loads. All my loads for the last two weeks has been 43, 44, 45. So a nice little light load, especially going up and down 81. Be good for the truck. You get a little break, a little easy stuff. Yeah, I think all my loads this week are light. This one's 13. I have one picking up in Knoxville going to Indiana. That's like 15. And then I got one coming out of Kentucky, coming back to Jersey. And that weighs, it says 20,000 pounds. So it's either 20,000 pounds or less. So, got a nice light load this week. Get to save on some fuel, because fuel is going through the roof. This don't even make no sense. Up in the Northeast right now, diesel is 505 a gallon without the discount. And the, the discount ain't helping much. So we we can use some light loads so we're not burning as much diesel. So we're just waiting for them to come out and load us. Uh, I guess I don't have to move my dunnage and my tarps right now if we want to need them. Because I called the uh, the load says it has to be tarped, but I called the uh, the co-signee, which is the person I'm delivering to, and he was like, "It's just gonna sit outside." It's like, I don't see why it needs to be tart. My man. So guess what? We gonna load, strap, and go. They can keep their little tart pay. Because after time, it don't even be worth it. So, yeah, we're going to uh, strap this joint up and go about our business. Maybe uh, when we come back this weekend, we'll do a little work to the truck. And I heard somebody asking for a truck tour and stuff like that. So, because we got to take... I still ain't getting around. I still ain't getting around to taking those off. These things. Only reason I didn't take them off is because I need to polish the wheels because they look god awful mess behind here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they look a god awful mess behind here. So I left them on because them wheels look like I don't know how they. I don't see how when the wheel is covered it looks that bad behind here. But I don't know, so we're gonna take this off and those two off and that little piece off. I don't think that's saving any fuel economy whatsoever. And then we're gonna polish these front wheels. It's, they ain't got no type of shine to them whatsoever. At least that one don't. This one, cause he said he replaced that wheel so this one actually comes up a little bit. But that one, when you do it, that don't do anything. So I'm not sure if it's, I don't know. I don't know if it has a coating on or what, but we're going to find out this weekend. We're going to order some flits polish. And take a day and polish them up. Try to make them look good. So we can take all this stuff off, make the truck look a little better. Try you know, personalize it a little bit. We gotta put our YouTube lettering on there. I just ordered the vinyl for that. So we gotta put that on there. I guess we're gonna put that over here somewhere. Probably change this too, because that was just thrown on there. Get rid of that. Change that out. So but yeah, as soon as uh they finish crating this piece of machinery up and bring it out to me. I'll be back with y'all. 
Here comes machinery part number one. Oh boy, look a little shaky there, bruh. Don't let that muck leak on fall. And John looking a little shaky up there. These are the biggest ones. Yes, these are the biggest and the heaviest. How much is this worth? All right. You scrap? Does they get scrapped down any particular way? Um. Do they go like through here or yeah, down the bottom? Go across the. Uh, like right through there. Yeah. Right. Unless you want to go on the bottom, we have room. Or some guys scrap the legs. Okay. All right. All right. All right, folks, all done. Had to buy some more four-inch straps. I ran out, I had to use them two inches. But I used them on the, the light ones, so. Those light ones only weigh like maybe 1,500 pounds, so. That's more than enough secure for those. our load. So, supposed to be 13,000 pounds all together so we'll add up the numbers and see what it is but it's supposed to be, most of it's pretty light. I'm sure it ride pretty good so we'll find out. So I'll see y'all folks in Virginia. Good morning folks. We're at our delivery. Getting unloaded. I don't forget you guys here. Drive off and leave y'all behind.
All right, folks, just about done getting unloaded. And then we got a three hour trip to Knoxville. The performance pipe is gonna pick up our next load. So, I'll see y'all folks in, uh, in Knoxville. My only problem is trying to find a place to uh, turn around. This is a dead end road and it's very tight. So I don't know how we going to get this one done. I'm going to have to ask them guys if there's a turnaround down here somewhere. I see a dump truck down here in the dam. The hell? What about like in the bushes? It must be a little driveway. Right. I'm about to find a way to turn around. I wonder if I can get down this driveway here. And I back in here and turn around? I don't know. But it looks like something I already tried to go through here by these judging by these damn tracks. And that shit look wet and I ain't trying to get stuck. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright. See y'all folks in Knoxville. What's going on folks? Back at it. Made it to uh Knoxville. We had a uh, performance pipe. So I've been to the performance pipe in Hagerstown. I've been to the performance pipe in Texas. And now I'm at the performance pipe in Knoxville, Tennessee. So I'm sure they're gonna make me uh, watch a safety video and all that good old stuff. So about to check in here. Get this show on the road. I got two trucks in front of me. So, let me get in here and check in. Be right back with y'all. All right, folks. All checked in. Get something a little different today. He said our stuff is on pallets. So, it's going to be interesting. It must be that. Oh, it must be those rolls down there. Mmm. New. I like to do different stuff. Different things are fun. So, I had to clean off the deck. I had two pieces extra of dunnage. I just threw them away because I got dunnage from when I did this, that steel. It's actually cut in half. So I actually still do have eight pieces of dunnage, but they're cut in half. So I put the four pieces in one of my boxes. I actually cleaned my boxes out during my home time. So I got all a whole bunch of space in there now. So, but he says sit in the truck and wait for somebody to come get us. And that's what we're going to do. So I get back with y'all when we get loaded. All right, folks. Loaded. Strap down. Now these do have two. What you want to do is it's one on each side of the bundle. So you basically throw it over, pull it down, down the bottom of the pallet, pull it towards you, hook it, and then tighten it down. Same thing on the other side. So it's two, two hold in the front, two hold in the back, and one in the middle. got about uh 258 miles to Louisville and then we'll deliver in the morning to Jeffersonville in the end that's your step deck load oh yeah what she looking for? all right close these boxes and 
Make sure everything's put away, and I'll see y'all guys at the terminal. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Getting back at it. We're in a... Uh, oh, hold on. Turn this way. There we go. We're in um, Georgetown, Kentucky. As you can tell, the uh, <laughs> trailer is empty. I forgot to do one little video yesterday. We unloaded in uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana. Um, after we unloaded there, we went back to Mercer. Did our 10 hours. No. We went to Mercer Wednesday night. Wednesday afternoon we got to Mercer. Spent the night at Mercer Wednesday. Got up first thing. Got up. Uh, we got up first thing Thursday morning. Delivered in Jeffersonville. That's that little coil wired coil piping. It was coil pipe. Yeah, whatever. Delivered that. And then we came straight to Georgetown, Kentucky, which is like an hour from there. And there's a pilot literally right across the street from where we're picking up at. So that's where we did our break yesterday. Now there's a good year. There was because the truck needs a pee and needs an oil change and stuff. So there was a good year there. I get there. It's maybe 12, maybe 12, like 11, 30, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's no trucks there. I'm like, oh, a little odd, but okay. So I go in and ask him, so I'll keep, you know, fit me in for a PM. He's like, sure. He's like, we got one truck in the bay. Um, let me uh, button that up, because it needs, like, they doing a whole bunch of work to so wheel seals and brakes and tires and stuff all the way around and stuff like that so he said, let me get that done and i'll get you and i'll call you in about an hour i said all right and we'll get something to eat and uh and i'll just wait for your call so i'm sitting in the truck watching tv eating not really paying attention to the time by the time i look at the clock again it's three o'clock mind you they close at five so i'm like this man ain't call me yet so I walk, I walk over there, and he's working on another truck, changing tires. So I'm like, uh, so what's going on? You going to be able to get me in today? Like, what's going on? He was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. The truck that, that's in the bay now is we still ain't get parts for it. I can't move it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you could have told me this a little bit ago. I could have went somewhere else. There's a love like eight minutes up the street. I could have went there and did my 10 and got my PM done. It's like just no communication whatsoever. Like you got three bays, and you only you lose you only using one. Like y'all not making no sense. And mind you, when I first go in there, they're talking about some oh, why is the company losing money and this, that, and the third. I see why y'all losing money. Y'all got one truck in there holding up your bay that you said's been in there already for two, three days. So y'all can't do no other work besides change tires. And y'all can't be that much making that much money changing tires. So I see why y'all about to go out of business. And they're supposed to open at 7. But the guy, the only guy with a key that can open the door, don't come in till 9. So technically they don't open till 9. So they basically work at 9 to 5. Because he can't come in no earlier because he has to wait for a... Uh, you know, school just started and stuff. So he has to wait for his kids to get on the bus. So once his kids gets on the bus, then he can come open up the door. So maybe they need to trust somebody else with that key. Because y'all are losing two hours of revenue. And you can make a lot of money in two hours, especially when you're dealing with trucks. But, you know, it ain't my company, not my business. So if that's how they want to run their stuff, I'm going to run it right into the damn ground. But, hey. But we're picking up some, uh, we're going to Bordentown, New Jersey. Is that sound bouncing off the dumpster? Yo, I thought it was a phone in there. The damn sound from the damn, the sound from the garage. 
is bouncing off the dumpster. So when I was standing, I'm hearing music. I'm thinking it's a damn. I'm thinking it's a damn phone in the dumpster. I said, that's about to threw their damn phone away. But they're building a Cube Smart in Bordentown, New Jersey. So that's what we're taking. It looks like they do like um they do uh the roll up doors. So it's supposed to be a light load. I actually see some of it because the doors are red. So I don't know. It doesn't look like they got everything done and ready for them because I still hear them putting stuff together. So I don't know if the camera gonna catch it. But those red doors right there. So Got that done. So now we're just waiting. Then, uh... Hi, sir. How you doing? What's going on? Her, man. She ain't got no filter on her. Smacking her head, man. That's all right. I'm, uh, oh, I think I, I, I think I signed in already. I don't okay. know if anybody. Uh, uh, I'm going to Bordentown, New Jersey. Bordentown? Yeah. I actually delivered here before. My, uh, he might out there. He, he'll be the one loading you up. All right. They might just let him know. All right. I was actually here. My first load I delivered came here. What's up, man? What's up? None. I already signed in, so I'll just, I yeah, guess, wait for you to put that stuff together. Those stuff, they're packing it. I was like, pack it, I'll be bringing it. All right. <laughs> I kind of figured they were still putting it together. Yeah, I can see. I see the little red doors right there. Are they white? Okay. It's 92 pieces. I'm the one that get yelled all the time about that. Hey, you know, what's wrong? I say, hey, man. I walk in, you see your load. No way, I'm just a loader. Especially like these Ukrainians that come in, be all aggressive and shit. shit till they, like they didn't know this load was going out already. Oh, they, they, well, they do. That's, that's like, you deal with production managers that things are not meant and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Especially Friday and Thursday. Everybody right. trying to load so they can get out, you know, for the weekend type of shit. They get like 11 to 12 trucks coming in today. I don't even know how many. He's the first one. Yeah, I guess I might as well make me something to eat then. Huh? <laughs> guess I'm going to be here for a while. I might as well make me something to eat. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be, well, plus they're about to take a break. Their first break. Uh, 9.15. Five minutes to nine. So... Yeah, guarantee, man. Hopefully, you be out of here before lunch. Hey, if you had some lunch, I'm gonna, man, I'll see you after lunch. Oh, I gosh. Ain't gonna lie. Hey. What time is lunch? 11.30. So every two hours is a break. 11.30 lunch, another two hours break. So I'm basically going to be sitting here for about three, four hours is what you're telling me. So I'll keep that up. So I'll keep that up. I'll pass that close to shit. And they're working on other shit too as well. I can't. All right. That's what I do. I'll tell you the truth. That way you decide. You know what I'm saying? But all right. Otherwise, I just keep quiet. And, you know, but job drivers are coming in, get mad and all that shit. I like to let you know up front. Hey, yeah. I've been doing a long time. This, this is why I see. But if they, if they concentrate on your shit all 100%, you can be out of here in an hour. But they got all the shit going on. You got a few, few people that are working on your shit. You know what I'm saying? Waiting on shit. How to close each box. Like what, 10 minutes to close? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go in there and count how many people we've done. Alright. And versus, I already went in there and 
in and check how many other crates that they have to build. But they still got to build crates too? That's what they're doing. They're building crates and closing. Don't tell them don't rush the crates because I don't need them falling apart on the way. Please. <laughs> I don't need them falling apart on the trip. So t t tell them to take their time. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh boy, oh boy. Nothing's easy. But if it was easy, everybody'd be doing it. Isn't that what they say? Whatever. Got another fellow Mercer driver over here loading up. He's going to Florida. They said my doors are half the size of his doors. this man feels about being on camera so well uh, I'm back with y'all in a second I'll ask him a couple questions all right folks four hours later we're finally loaded I was gonna finish strapping down some of this stuff I gotta strap down these last six Actually, seven. So there was one hanging back there. So. I just strapped that last one, and I can get on out, get on the way. That guy here, eight. It's actually almost one. So five hours. And they don't pay attention here, so source of joy. Let me get this uh all the rest of this stuff strapped down and uh be back with you. YouTube, good morning. It's Monday, bright and early Monday morning. Well, not so bright, a little cloudy, but made it to the truck. About to do our, uh, our pre trip. So we're gonna make our delivery in boarding town. We don't have a reload. So, we don't know how that's gonna go yet. What in the world? Well, I know I ain't put that there. And I know it ain't make this whole trip here. Where the hell that come from? And where the hell this damn screw come from? I don't even want to touch that damn thing. So. Ain't one of them damn screws on the ground, is it? And all I need is to get one of these damn things in my damn tire. Good old Western Express. This nigga do this shit every weekend, bro. They're gonna tell us to stop parking here. Every weekend he do this shit. He drop his, he drop his fucking trailer. But look where he dropped the trailer at. Like, he literally dropped it in a whole driving lane. How was anybody supposed to get by? But all you had to do was come over a couple of feet and drop it over here where they tell us we can park it. There? Over here. Why you just couldn't move that shit over here? You literally just dropped that shit and just said, fuck it. It's like, I don't, I don't understand people. I really don't. It's like, it's... it's in the city of Philadelphia, it's not too many places. It's not too many places to park. You park anywhere on the street, they give you a ticket. So 
Target was nice enough to let us park here. As long as we keep the parking lot clean, this then the third. This guy about to fuck it up for everybody else. Like, oh boy, oh boy. And I wonder why they got such a bad rap. He's just about as bad as Swift. Alright, let's finish getting this uh let's finish doing a free trip. Get on the road. And see y'all guys in boarding town. What's going on folks? We're back checking in. We made it to our delivery. And they building a whole bunch of buildings over here. Got one over there. One over there. That's where our stuff is going. They just got these building stuff everywhere. So, I already started doing some of these straps. Gotta wind them up. All that good stuff. So, but I already checked in, they know I'm here. Wait for him to come take this crap off my trailer. Mind you, when I picked this stuff up on Friday, I called the I called the uh, the contact person three times. Left him three different voicemails. He never picked up. Never responded to my phone. Never responded to my voicemails about where to go. You know, what time you want it, can I bring it on the weekend, none of that stuff. I ain't get none of that. I called this morning, he picked up on the first ring like I ain't, like I ain't never called. Tell him who I was, all that stuff. He's just like, oh, oh. I tell the guys you're here. Like, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Whatever, it is what it is. We're here now, about to get this stuff off. So I'll check back in with y'all when uh, they start unloading. What's up, man? How are you? I'm all right. Good. I signed for you. Oh, you want to sign? Yeah, up? All right. Right, right down here. Oh, sign it in date. Oh, okay. Yeah. My question to you is, how the hell do I get out of here? Yeah, I, I see it. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> Great. Basically, I'm stuck in here, huh? Maybe. All right, folks, all done unloading. I'm about to get a body. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see y'all folks in the next video. Whenever that may be. You know Labor Day coming up, so I ain't trying to go too far. I ain't trying to spend Labor Day on the road. So, I'll see y'all later.